hello guys welcome back to Manny Reef. this is phone reef i can't believe it's been so long since we last saw i can't miss it's been so so long but i'm i'm excited to be back um, a lot of things have been hap happening behind the scenes you know i um had to go to school i was in school anyway but um i had to go to my masters and i had to put youtube on hold so i can focus on my masters i did like a three-year program in one year um i graduated with my bachelor's um in i graduated with, with honors i also graduated all my masters with honors so that was a really beautiful thing going on but um i'm excited to be back i'm excited to share my reefing journey with you guys but anyway in the last video you know we talked about how um the filtration room how to build a filtration room i showed you how i built my filtration room what i didn't show you though was what this filtration room was filtering and that's what this video is going to be about i'm going to show you the main system of what this um filtration room filtered um i call this the double decker <laughs> reef tank i hope you enjoy it man um uh, we're gonna go through plumbing we're gonna go through the cycling and and how the tank is doing so far go ahead and watch enjoy the video and let me know if you have any question in the comments all right in the comment and so here we go let's go ahead and show you guys you know everything that went down um first thing that we did was bring the tank in put them in position after we drilled the holes of course um, for the plumbing to connect to the hole to the plumbing that was downstairs um, Yes, we see the plumbing how we plumbed it we basically like Try to make a neat job as much as we possibly can um, What I did was I connected the right side of the right drain, you know to, from the main tank and connected it to the right side you know of the anemone tank and we um had that trident if you see in the earlier video the trident down in the basement so we connected each right side to each to each side of the trident so the right side of the, the main display and the right side of the anemone tank both connected to one trident the left side of the main display and the left side of the anemone tank was connected to the other um, trident and then once that was connection was done we started filling water actually started filling the water earlier um, and um, after of course we did the level to make sure the tank was leveled and we started filling the water and once the top water was filled up we started on the bottom section you know, everything was getting really exciting um one thing that to note too was was leak check the next step level was going to be leak check but before that i wanted to make sure that there was water in the bottom going on the bottom and there was water on top um one interesting thing that we did was of course months ago we had the bottom system and the system in the basement was already running you know so we didn't have to worry about cycling if that makes sense now i'll explain that you know in, i'll explain that soon so after the water was full what we did was we went ahead and added our salt um i went with um reef crystal salt i went with the box because um simply because it was easier to to um, measure so with the reef crystal when you get the box um you get uh if i remember correctly about four packages four packs in the in a box now each pack is good for a 50 gallon tank right or 50 gallon water and this top tank was 150 150 gallon so it was easier to do the math rather than trying to measure with other salt um and it was cheaper so <laughs> we went with that a backstory on this tank actually was um the original plan was supposed to be with my 75 gallon if you guys remember correctly remember earlier and then i met this uh helped this guy moved his tank because he broke down his tank and um what happened with him really interesting really cool dude his name his name was um justin justin was amazing man we moved his tank broke down his tank he was supposed to um 
um, sell in tank and sell the you know equipment but you know we, we were dead to like I think it's like 1 or 2 or midnight 2 a.m. you know breaking down this tank and it's like you know what you guys really helped it was me and me and my friend Lucas it's like you guys really helped out um, I'm really appreciative of that so take it <laughs> we're like what it's like yeah take it i know you want to you try to get a bigger tank so just take it i'm like wow okay so he gave me this tank he gave me um some fishes some co all his fishes basically um myself and lucas split it split it between us what i pretty much just got a tank fish corals just from helping helping justin um Shout out to Justin, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This tank has been my baby, and, and as you can see, we've been taking care of it. But anyway, as we we did the leak test, everywhere seemed, was good. We had a couple of leaks, though. We had leaks right here on both sides. It was like pouring. <laughs> it was ridiculous. All the joints were leaking. The drain joints, because, you know, they have this thing where you can you can um you have to hand tie it um i i guess i took that too literally and i basically just <laughs> hand tied it or maybe i wasn't strong enough but yeah my hand didn't didn't work um so we i ended up just tightening it a, 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 a little bit more and tightening it kind of fixed it it still had little drops here and there like two drops every five seconds you know but um I gave it a little bit tightening and that that fixed that problem that was fixed so whenever you do plumbing um me tighten keep it a little tight just not you know don't don't knock it out tight because it could also be that the um o-rings would would give way and water would find its way oh of course thank you princess she was really helpful <laughs> Yes, she helped with the plumbing. Now, this part is really important. I almost skipped it, but I figured, you know, I didn't want to throw shades at anyone, but I think it was very important for everyone to know this. After I put the sign in, you know, I went to run my hands through the sign and I saw this. <laughs> so this washer in there. Whenever you put a sign in, please run through the sign to make sure it's free of any obstacle, man, because you just never know, you know. If I didn't do that, this would have been buried. The problem with this is this is going to rust and it's going to release things like um, iron into the tank. It's going to release even ammonia in and, and other rust. You never know what it, what it has, especially iron. Too much iron. If you have macroalgae, it's a whole different ball game. But uh, iron in a fish tank, you don't want that. It's very dangerous. It can affect your corals, can hurt your fishes. So um it's food for the plants let's leave it for the plants and let's feed them right not by rusted um metal in your tank um so far i was really satisfied with the way the tank was coming out it looked really beautiful we're running the water again um like i explained earlier we already had the the tank the t system downstairs was already running so we didn't need to um cycle the tank it was basically like doing a huge water change you know so the next step after filling the water and everything was right cycling on ammonia we ended up putting all the livestock back in and then the fishes these are the fishes that um that we got from from justice as we said justin as we said earlier um we got that beautiful tank that guy apparently is like eight years old <laughs> i felt like i had a regime my ras unfortunately did not make it um i almost caught him out of this video but what happened with him i, I thought it was gonna i thought it was you know, th there are instances where rasses will pretend to play dead you know and so i was hoping that was the case when i moved them from the tank down in the basement this one was like um christmas season it was cold it was cold in atlanta and i i don't know why i i i, I should have known better um but i took him out of the tank i left them in a bucket you know still i could have just brought them back back and forth but i didn't uh, i didn't put a header in the bucket i didn't put nothing in the bucket i just left them in there but um unfortunately it didn't make it i i i learned the hard way i hope you all learn from my mistake when you're moving a fish like that move them as quick as possible you know um don't or put a put a small leader in the bucket um anyway so we moved up all the 
livestock, the corals, everyone was happy. Um, baby girl was really happy. After that, the next thing we did was install the lights. So for this tank, um, over my my seventy five gallon, I had the C five bulb and the OFEC one twenty. Um, I put a, I basically drilled a hole on the T for the T five. I had like a planted, you know, for for plant for for, for like plants like regular plants T five um bays which I got for cheap um on Amazon. I actually got this um I think I I learned this from from Than of of Tidal Gardens and I tried it and it's been working perfectly perfectly. This system this um. The system had like 85 bulbs and it grew corals like oh it was just amazing now the site was not you know the, the most beautiful thing to see but it worked it worked it, it was incredible you know so i have i had i, I added that to i added the two um orfec to that and this was how it came out down here was the anemone tank of course Lucas gave us <laughs> two anemones thank you Lucas to start up that anemone tank and my favorite part was just watching the kids have fun with it <laughs> Thank you so much baby girl for that beautiful song and that's one of the things that i love about this tank is just watching the kids have a good time with it you know they sit in front of it they interact with the fishes they interact with the corals you know she sings to them i, I just just a beautiful scene to watch you know another thing that i like about this tank is the aquascape the aquascape was made in a way that there was a lot of hiding space for the fishes you know we also had a lot of swimming room at the back so they weren't like confided to swimming in front they could also swim freely at the back but there was also a lot of viewpoint so you could see the fishes swimming at the back um, there was also the, the with the hiding space those hiding spaces for the small fishes those i paid for the big fishes so all the fishes felt at home they felt comfortable you know because they have a safe haven to go to but the viewpoints could also allow you to see the fishes even in their hiding spaces. So, so much thought that came into this. I loved it. This had to be like one of the best systems that I actually built. I wrote an article on Reef to Reef about how we built the entire system. The main display, the anemone tank, um, the filtration room, everything. Um, if you're a reader, go ahead and read that article. And this brings us to the end of our video, man. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you want to watch more, go ahead and hit the subscriber button. Um, remember, you can follow us on Instagram at Fonrifa. Follow us on TikTok at Fonrifa. Follow us on Re on Facebook at Fonrifa. And right here on YouTube at Fonrifa. Fonrifa is spelled the number four, the letter N, and Rifa. Thank you guys so much. Hey, before we leave, man, I have a couple of pics that I took for you guys. It shows the sunset and the sunrise for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy. Catch you on the rebound.